Rick the Squirrel's King Kong-a-thon. King Kong Lives, oh boy. After 10 years, they decide to do a sequel to it. And Deo De Laurentiis really thought that this was going to be a moneymaker. Well, surprise, nobody knows this movie even exists. And it bombed. Except for Russia. They really liked that movie for some reason. Ironic, because one of the ideas for a King Kong sequel was going to be him in Russia. Even one in space, or him fighting Orca. Wish those were made instead. Well, for no reason, apparently there's another Kong somewhere on some random island who happens to be female. Yeah, pretty convenient, huh? So Linda Hamilton is able to do a heart transplant on King Kong, because in this he had a coma after he fell from the Twin Towers. When he wakes up, he sees the female, he goes and gets her, and after that is just trying to get away from the military. It's nice to see that Kong actually does get to have a mate in this one. It's one of the only highlights this movie really has. I do like his design for the body more because it doesn't feel as costumey as the 76 one is. But that head is just really ugly. Not as ugly as the Toho ones, but still. They also made him walk mostly quadrupedal, and they don't have that stock roar that he used in the 76 one. He just does a bunch of random grunts. There's this one part where he's alone and a bunch of drunks find him, and he just goes brutalized on him. He freaking bites one in half and eats him, and then takes another one and breaks him like a twig. The end fight is pretty fun too, but it's not really well choreographed. Kong is trying to protect the lady because she's about to give birth, so he fights off the whole military, blood-soaked and all, and pretty much wins, even crushing the one-dimensional character of a general with his fist, kind of like with Packard and Skull Island. Before he dies, he gets to see his newly born son. It's a touching moment, and the movie ends with the lady and the baby on some islands, presumably to be taken care of. This is definitely the worst live-action King Kong movie. And when I say by live action, I mean it. It only gets worse from here. But before that, let's try to cleanse our palate with something better. Oh.